So in this video, you'll learn how you can connect your USB flash drive to your Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 or S10 Ultra. So for this video, you will be needing your USB flash drive as well as an adapter. So I have this adapter here by Anker that has multiple ports that I can insert different uh, devices into. But for this video, you'll just need the one port that supports the USB flash drive. Again, this is only if you're using one of the older models of the USB flash drive. If you have one that is a type C, you can just insert it directly into the charging port of your tablet and easily connect them. But because I'm using an older one, I will need an adapter. So the first step is to insert the, adapt the flash drive into the adapter, like so. And then once it's been inserted, you're then going to insert the adapter into the charging port of your tablet. So just go ahead and plug it in. And then once it's been connected and looks something similar to this, the next step is to just wait for the flash drive to be recognized by your tablet. You'll notice that it's been successfully recognized when you come to the quick settings menu. And then in the notifications, you should see the USB storage added feature. If you don't see it there, then you might want to unplug the flash drive and then plug it in again so that it can be recognized by a tablet. From here, you can then start by accessing the files just by opening the My Files app on your tablet. And then from here, you're going to come to the storage section, look for USB storage and select it. Then you can see all the files that are currently listed in your USB flash drive. You can transfer files from your tablet to the flash drive or from the flash drive to the tablet. You can even choose to format the flash drive and all sorts of options. Then when you're ready to disconnect or to remove the flash drive from your tablet, you need to ensure that you're doing it correctly. To do that, you're just going to come to USB storage and then tap on the three dots in the top right corner and choose the option unmount. Once you've selected unmount, it will then be successfully removed from your tablet. So you can go ahead and unplug the adapter or the USB flash drive. And by doing so, it means that you won't corrupt or risk any corruption of the data that's currently on your flash drive or on your tablet simply by going through that process. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments about this process, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.